off the oldest trick in the book. Honestly guys dot 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 and I'm not singling out Autocar, it is the the wider press mostly but am I missing something here? But who gives a rats about production delays when this guy keeps churning out game changer after game changer after game changer, surely that pales everything else into insignificance. Investors invest and take the risks, customers disappointed on Model 3 delivery, cancel your order. I am sure there are plenty of people out there who wait patiently for such a car. I have nothing but huge admiration for Elon Musk, what he is doing is moving the game on and I suspect a large majority of customers and investors buy into that. Those who don't probably wouldn't buy his products, yet. Chastising Musk for production delays at this stage of his company's evolution is like lambasting the Wright brothers for not having an in-flight movie or Thomas Edison for having crackly vinyl. It is only a game a gainer if you can actually ache it, otherwise you are just BS artist. I've had three Teslas and they keep getting better and better. Quality is now good, performance is crazy, running costs are pathetically minuscule, ride comfort is good, space is great for my family. Then they made the Model X a bit ugly but owners seem to love them. I can't totally understand why they are delaying the 3 until production is right because a few of us Model S owners had problems with the early ones and they don't want a repeat. So you can bash them for being a bit late but better that than delivering crap quality. A wise and sensible corporate choice. Agreed. With half the world, including me, slavering for a Tesla, carping from the sidelines about production delays is like dropping pebbles down a very deep well. Personally I like Tesla cars but I wouldn't own one, I hate that massive screen they are intent on including in their cars. I'm waiting for hydrogen, that should be the future of motoring, there are far too many caveats with electric venues for them to become the norm. So when the bills are paid by advertisers, how could a car magazine, website support a non-advertising brand? Tesla don't need to advertise because they are doing something newsworthy and there are customers who want this step change technology just not the advertising car brands who have been so slow to market that they have all been caught sleeping. So when the bills are paid by advertisers, how could a car magazine, website support a non-advertising brand? Tesla don't need to advertise because they are doing something newsworthy and there are customers who want this step change technology just not the advertising car brands who have been so slow to market that they have all been caught sleeping. Production delays on the Model 3? So what? It's just a delay in this company achieving true mass market evs for the masses by a few months. It's a tech slash car company that's just over 10 years old for fuck's sake. I am sick to the teeth with reading rags like yours trying to diss this great man and his accomplishments, why don't you write a piece about where he wants to be and drag the rest of us with him instead of trying to do him down. Grow up. Musk has done some great stuff, Defoe and the truck and Roadster look like the two best things they've done to date, but Autocar's comments are perfectly rational ones, I am sick of hearing that Musk is some sort of god. I am sick of hearing fanboys bleat on and on about Tesla, Musk and not be able to accept any criticisms about them. Whilst Tesla, Musk have done some great things, they've also done some stuff that's not so good, bland, derivative styling of the S-X-3, unintuitive, gimmicky touchscreen dash. No person or company is perfect, Tesla and Musk are no exceptions. No one is saying Musk is a god. Autocar is correct in providing another opinion and points taken on this styling but that again is subjective and you can accept, forgive that from a startup. I honestly believe that anyone criticizing Tesla has never driven one of their products, once you've had your face stripped off even by P75 let alone the Type X P100D, you can't help but admire what Musk has achieved and continues to achieve. I too laughed at Top Gear's review of his first Roadster, in a few years we'll all be laughing at the acceleration.